what's up so it's been like a really long time since my last vlog i don't even know how long it's been but i'm back with a new one so i have decided to try the apogee apogee two-step protein treatment and um i know i follow the curly girl method and i know that that product is not curly girl friendly but i have decided to go along with it for several reasons um one being that my curl pattern is looser than it used to be. I was looking at pictures and this time last year my curl pattern was a lot, well it seemed like it was a lot tighter. My hair has been breaking for the past maybe two or three months. I've been experiencing a lot more breakage than normal and I'm thinking that I might have a little bit of moisture overload. So I'm just going to go ahead and try this protein treatment so right now i am in this plaza parking lot and i'm about to go into sally and pick some up um yeah there happens to be a wing stop right next to sally um this can get dangerous because wing stop is delicious <laughs> Right, so I just grabbed them um, back in the car and so I got the four ounce two-step treatment with the eight ounce um, moisturizer to go with it I didn't get the bigger protein treatment because I'm not sure how I like this so we'll see but one thing that I did notice um, right there um, this has mineral oil in it like okay silicones are one thing but I'm not too happy about this mineral oil but um i'm gonna give it a try anyway so uh we'll see what happens i'm about to get started um i'm about to wash my hair i'm doing this a lot later than i thought i would because it took me like over three hours to take all of these stupid twists out so they're out um so my hair's damp because i detangled it while i was taking the twists out so it's full of conditioner. Um, so we can see how my curl pattern is kind of looking. Um, I have tighter curls around the edges and then um, at the crown, my hair, I've always had looser curls at the crown. Um, my curl pattern still looks decent, but it's just a little bit less tight than it used to be. So I am about to get in the shower and wash my hair. Okay, so I just got finished washing my hair and um, this is the shampoo that I ended up using. This is like a new staple. I love this stuff. But um, I wanted to show you um, my shed hair um, from when I took my twist out and detangled. This is what came out of my head and it's been two weeks since I last washed it. I washed my hair about two weeks ago and retwisted. So this um, is what I lost. And then in the shower, I lost more. I lost this. And as you, if you can see, like, it's like just a clump. Like, I've just been losing more hair lately and I really, I don't know why. So um, I hope that this helps. All right, so I am about to get started. I read the instructions, so it just says to, um, Apply and blend through with the comb, dry under a dryer, and then rinse and uh, apply the moisturizer. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I think I'm just going to do this in sections. So we'll start with the back and let's get this started.
um, this bottle is the four ounce bottle. I use the whole thing. I don't know if you can tell, but it's making my uh, hair color bleed. So, um, whatever. It's not a huge deal. And this ro this robe is already totally stained up with dyes, so um, it's not the end of the world. I'm just I'm just gonna use this dryer to uh, dry it. Then we'll rinse it out and see what happens. It's dry. Um, I think my roots are still maybe a little bit damp. But I really don't care about that. looking like I'm gonna have to dye my hair uh, pretty soon. So this is the uh, the second step to the two-step treatment process. And this is the uh, moisturizer. It just says to leave it in for two minutes and then rinse. So that's what I'm going to do. And I think I'm probably going to do one of my normal deep conditioners after that. I'm gonna use this deep conditioner. Um, I do follow the curly girl method, I guess for the most part. Now you can just kind of say that I'm trying new things, maybe doing a modified curly girl method. So because this has mineral oil in it, um, it's definitely not curly girl friendly, um, but I am not going to do a sulfate wash after this. I feel that the mineral oil will probably just come out eventually. It will come out of my hair eventually. All right, so I'm about to go stick my hair back in the shower and rinse. Apply this, leave it on for two minutes. I'm gonna put in my deep conditioner, leave it in for about half an hour, and I'm gonna rinse it out. I'm gonna put a leave-in conditioner, and then that's it. I'm not going to do my wash and go routine until tomorrow because it's getting late and I'm tired. So I will return in the morning. Peace. All right, it's the next day, and uh, my hair is actually still kind of damp low porosity problems but uh, I, I didn't even do my wash and go routine yet but I wanted to show y'all this um this is just with leave-in conditioner and my hair is so much less frizzy and more defined than it ever really has been with just leave-in conditioner normally my hair would still be a little bit frizzy and then I would really have to put like a lot of gel on it to make it look decent in my opinion but this like i can leave the house like this and that's a plus that's never happened before on the flip side so far i don't really see um my curl pattern looking any tighter um but because my hair um is looking like this right now i don't think i'm going to do my wash and go routine until uh tomorrow so tomorrow I will damp my hair and then add my gel and blow dry. And then uh, I'm going to see how it looks from there. But right now it's just this um, leave-in conditioner. I think it looks pretty good. We'll see what happens tomorrow. <laughs> so it's Monday and I'm at the airport, y'all. I dead ass forgot I had a flight to take today. Flight. Who does that? Apparently, I do that. Um, I'm still gonna finish my wash and go. I'm gonna do it when I get to the hotel tonight. But I guess this will make for a more interesting vlog. I will catch y'all when my flight lands. for now um 
I'm headed to the hotel and it's 30 miles away and it's gonna take me an hour and a half to get there. Yay, LA. <sighs> so I just got back to the hotel after getting dinner and dropping off my car and getting back to the hotel and it's late as hell. So needless to say, I will not be getting any type of hair did tonight. I have been up for 23, 24 and a half hours straight with only three hours of sleep prior to that. So I feel like I'm dying and I wanna go to bed now. Okay, it has nothing to do with my protein treatment or wash and go, but I just gotta show y'all this view. Um, yeah, pretty amazing. The moral of the story is like, just don't procrastinate. Just don't be like me. Do your hair when you say you're going to do your hair because it just takes you like four extra days to do it. Um, still have not done my wash and go routine. I didn't do it this morning. I, there was no way I was going to be on time to my training if I did my whole wash and go routine this morning. This is still uh, my hair, how it was the other day when I showed you when it just had leave-in, again, my hair just has leave-in. When I took the bun out this morning, um, it was still looking good. So I just dampened it and um, put a little bit more leave-in in and then went about my day. So that's what I did to get this hair. I'm trying to get it. the good light. There's the good light. Okay. So again, it looks pretty good, but I still want to compare my normal wash and grow routine to see what it looks like. And that, I promise, will be getting done tonight. All right? Doing my wash and go, and I wanted to show y'all something that I have not experienced before using the products that I normally use, I have a lot of um, reaction and build up from, I don't know if it's really showing on this camera, you can see it, but um, yes, there's definitely a lot of it. Um, maybe it has something to do with using mineral oil or using a protein treatment um i don't know um i'm gonna give it a day and we'll see maybe it'll just kind of melt in um but we'll see what happens with this finally <laughs> my final uh wash and go process results from using the apogee two-step protein treatment i can't believe this vlog took me like almost a week to do but um this is what my um Wash and Go was looking like with all the products that I do normally use. And as you can see, um, it is popping. So I'm really happy about the results. I do still here and there have a little bit of buildup, but it's not nearly as much as it was yesterday. So I'm happy. And it looks like um, my hair curl pattern has tightened up just slightly. So that's nice. Pros. Um, my, my hair looks good. It feels stronger. It looks tighter. Um, the product was cheap. So will I do this again? Um, I think I will. I think I will incorporate this into my routine. So yeah, here it is. Um, you can kind of see how my hair color is switched up on me. It's still like black in the back and kind of more brown in the front now. Um, but that's all right. I'll just dye it again. That's it. That's the end of this vlog, finally, that has taken forever. That has taken a week. Yeah, so um, have you tried the Apogee Two-Step Protein Treatment? Let me know what you think about it. Curlies, thanks for watching this ridiculously long vlog that really could have only taken a few hours. It took like five days, but whatever. I got it done. Until the next time, I'll see you, curl friends, in the next video. Peace out.